it's Megan and welcome to my channel. I um, today thought that I would do a get ready with me and like get to know me kind of thing. Um, this is my first video ever so I thought that I would just let you guys know who I am and why you should maybe watch me. So yeah let's get started. To prime I'm just going to be using the Morphe Revitalizer Foundation Primer. Um, I just started using this one, I really like it. Just while I do this, I found some questions online that are just like silly, I thought I would answer them. Where did you grow up? Um, so I grew up in Tasmania, Australia, down on the little island of Australia. So next, I'm going to put on some foundation. So I've been using the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation in shade Snow. I should probably zoom you guys in a bit. Yeah, I just have a lot of like redness on my cheeks. They're like broken capillaries. I've had red cheeks my whole life, so I like a full coverage foundation. Next question was, how tall are you? I'm 172 centimeters. I think it's like 6'8", is the equivalent. Dogs or cats? Definitely dogs. I have two dogs. One is just over a year old and he's a stag hound cross. My older dog, Mickey, she's nine this year and she's a Jack Russell cross. I prefer dogs for sure over cats. But you know, like dogs like you and cats tolerate you, unpopular opinion maybe. And then I'm just gonna conceal. I'm using the Morphe concealer in shade C1.25. What year were you born? I'm 26. I was born in 1994. In January. Are you in or have you gone to college? I'm assuming that means university um, in Australia. I went for a few years, didn't work out. Now I'm not. What is your favorite drink? Water, I guess. I drink a lot of water. I don't drink a lot of other stuff. Then I'm just gonna powder using the same Revlon Colorstay translucent powder. Oh, powder in my eye. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Horrible. Tea or coffee? Uh, neither. I don't really drink hot drinks, maybe a Milo. Um, so I powder my face. I'm gonna do some bronzer. I use Super Pale Shade, but I use this humongous Sephora bronzer in the shade Claire Light 01, so Probably the lightest colour that they have. What sports do you play or have played? I really don't do sports. Sports are not my thing. Don't mind the faces. Does anyone really put on makeup without pulling a face? Have any books you read changed your life? Uh, so I read a series of books when I was a teenager by Laurel K. Hamilton. They're the Anita Blake series novels. Like I read them at a stage in my life where I like wasn't really coping with my life or anything that was happening in it and that was like really point but a huge point for me where like that was what I needed I needed to escape from my reality into something else and reading really did that for me blush I never used to wear blush I thought I already had red cheeks why would I want to make my cheeks red again uh, but I've been really enjoying it lately so I use the morphe blush palette I but these are the ones that I use um, I use shade Beat out of this palette. It's like a shimmery blush colour, which I've been really enjoying lately. What is your favourite movie? I don't know if I have a favourite movie. Like, do people have favourite movies anymore? I've watched so many movies in my life. I couldn't tell you if I had just one that I like. I don't think I have like a fake, but I do love like sci-fi, fantasy movies that type of thing, romance, I love like Marvel movies and stuff. I grew up on Twilight, so if that gives you any indication. That was like my formative teenage years spent on Twilighting, so you know. But I've been using the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade White Gold.
I'm gonna do my eyebrows, eyebrows next. Um, and I use the Morphe Brow Pomade, Pomade in the shade Latte. Brow cream, it's called brow cream, easy. I use the brow cream in shade Latte from Morphe. Um, same you in, I guess, if you wanna see that. The next question it was, what are your favorite YouTubers? So I love Jenna Marbles. I've been watching her like since she's been on YouTube. Like I just love her stuff, like, I think she's really great. And I love Shane Dawson's videos. Who else? That's a bold brow. Bold brow, brush that out. Brush it out, it'll be right. James Turner, I'm a big fan of all of his Let's Plays and stuff. Uh, he does like Sims videos and things like that. And I love watching clothing hauls, they're some of my favorite things. A lot of them I watch is, I watch Sarah Ray Vargas, I think she's incredible. Um, Sierra Schultze. I watch a lot of Sierra Schulte, big fan of her um, videos as well. I think it's hard, there's not many people doing that in Australia, so that's something that I'm gonna be doing, like some videos, like doing try-ons and stuff of brands that, you know, are easier to get in Australia, especially in Tasmania, we don't have a lot of shops here. Four plus size girls, are they right? That was a bit weird, it's probably fine. It's fine, leave them alone, they're okay. Very dark. Are they too dark? Maybe I need a lot of shade. Not an hour problem, not an hour problem. Just going to clean up under the eyebrows. Do you speak any other languages and how well? Absolutely not. I am terrible at other languages. I wish that I could learn. I had no a teensy bit of sign language, uh, but that's it. I don't know any foreign languages. I'm just gonna zoom you out. You can just look from there. That'll be right. I don't think anyone wants to be that close to my face. Um, are you single or taken? What's the next question? I am married to a guy called Alex. We've been together for nine years. Or well, we got married in January of this year, which was lucky because now I can't do wedding. Thanks, coronavirus. Eyeshadow. And so I'm just gonna start by putting the shade Tongue Pop, this one right here, from the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Uh, next question was, what is your idea of a dream date? Um, I love just like going to the cinema or like just going and spending a day at the beach, just like talking and hanging out and spending quality time and playing like video games or something with my husband. But yeah, our favorite date is just like going out for dinner and going to the movies. That's my favorite, favorite kind of date. I guess if I had like a dream date, I wouldn't know what that is, but like for regular people, I love just going to the cinema. Um, how long was your longest relationship, the one I'm in now? It's nearly nine years. Next question was, how would you describe your fashion sense? I would say casual. I'm just wearing a t-shirt right now. Um, it says love yourself. Big fan of like self-love, big advocator for self-love. Yeah, I'm a like t-shirts and jeans kind of person for the most part. Like I love dressing up and I have a lot of clothes to, you know, be a little fancier with. Um, but really my love is of t-shirts and jeans. What is your go-to hairstyle? It's pretty much this. I wash my hair and then I braid it and then just take it out. I take it out after after it's fully dry and it normally leaves my hair like super shiny and nice and then I don't have to heat damage it in any way and it looks, you know, presentable for human life. Uh, now I'm gonna use the shade Royal Pain from the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette and just deepen up that color a little. How many siblings do you have? I have two, two brothers. Uh, one's four years older than me and the other one's a year and a bit younger than me. Your most memorable vacation memory? I said just said I got married in January and me and my husband went to went on our honeymoon just before everything was shut down because of COVID-19. So that was at the end of January. We went on our honeymoon and we went to London, Iceland and Italy. We were so lucky to go when we were, when we did, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to. I mean, we were lucky to get married when we did, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to. I'm just gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette volume one. Using the shade Sissy, I think is what this one's called. I'm just gonna put that over my lid. But yeah, so we went to um, London, Iceland and Italy, and it was just like incredible. 
but by far like Iceland was just the most incredible place and the people were so lovely but it was just like the best experience going there. Next question was, do you have any bad habits? I have many a bad habit. Many, many a bad habit. But probably the worst one is that I'm like a super procrastinator. I believe everything important to the absolute last minute. Um, and then I'm just gonna use the shade next to that one. Um, the sissy color, um, this one here. I think it's called Faint. Stopped recording. Not sure what I got. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting that shade Faint, I think it's called. Um, on the inner corner. Probably gonna go into the lower lash line. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use Tongue Pop. And then I'm just going to use a slightly smaller brush and go into the shade Royal Pain and put that just slightly closer to my lash line. In the inner corner, I'm going to put the shade Wet Jewel from the uh, Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette here. I've been really obsessed with lately. It's like more of a glitter formula. That's a finished eyeshadow look. Now I'm just going to do, uh, I don't think I'm going to do liner today. I think I'm just going to do mascara and lashes. For mascara, I'm using the False Lash Superstar from L'Oreal Paris. So for lashes today, I'm just using these lashes by Kiss. Um, and they're the Blowout Lash in Pixie 02, it says on the pack, so I think that's what it is. I really like these ones. I feel like I have really little eyes, so I don't like a really huge lash. So just while I glued the other lash, the last question that it had was, tell us one more thing about you that we we wouldn't know. I am a super positive person. My, pretty much my motto in life is just to be happy. I wanna be happy. Like what's the point in doing stuff if it's gonna make you more miserable than it will make you happy? Like, I just don't think it's worth it. Worth all of the misery. You know, like, you could, morbid as it is, you could die tomorrow and you spent your whole life, like, for instance, saving all of your money and then you die and you don't get to spend any of it anyway. Like, again, morbid. Positive. <laughs> but yeah, like, then you don't get to spend anything or do anything. Like, what's the point in that when you could spend your life and your time just being happy instead. Um, so yeah, I just think that like I want to be happy. Like that's my thing. I want to be happy at all times. I just don't see the point in being miserable when there's another option. So I try and just be super positive about everything because I think almost anything in life can have a positive spin if you like want it to, I guess. 
So that's my lashes done. So I'm just putting on liner. It's a NYX one, a NYX crayon, lip crayon in the shade Nude. I'm just gonna put on a, a gloss from Morphe and Jeffree Star collab in the shade Berry Glass. So I'm just gonna set and then I'm finished. I'm just using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So yeah, this is my finished makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye friends.